about Gary Glitter, huh? <laughs> 500,000 million dong in your pocket, right? Here, Tad. And who could you coming up there, guy? <laughs> hey, right out, that dong in your pocket, we'll just let him see me. <laughs> It's me now to your motto. It's dog, it's good. <laughs> me and bank, now me and bank's got his motto because your dog is safe in our hand. <laughs> Tell me about myself, I, um, I, I grew up in Saigon. Uh, which in the 70s in Saigon is a fucking very stupid place to live, but um, we used to live across the road from the presidential palace, right? And uh, every day we, we, we used to have a sniper across the road from our house, right? During the war. I'll tell you about this guy, every day, this dude, he would wake you up with a couple of rounds on the roof like this. And then he'd wake you to get out of the toilet. And try and make you shit yourself before you get there. <laughs> Outrageous behaviour. So one day we, my dad decided we should leave so I got, I don't know what that means, I didn't have Russian tanks that was parked in our driveway and I was going to do this. <laughs> so this is the last day of the Vietnam War, April 30th, 1975, and we get this phone call. So you've got three hours to leave the country. So quickly, you know, we packed our bags, fed the dog to granny. <laughs> the dock, we grab a slab of beer for the trip because you know, it's a few words. And so we set off on this old, old leaking corn trawler. Mate, this boat was leaking so much the corns were shitting themselves. <laughs> I'll tell you about this boat. On this boat, we had no food. There was no water, no karaoke, fucking nothing, right? <laughs> And we picked up by the American Navy, they're waiting for a refugee, right? So we picked up by the American Navy and they took the Philippines, the Subic Bay. Right? Subic Bay used to be one great big American naval car park situation, right? So we turned up the Subic Bay. So picture this, 10,000 starving Vietnamese refugees right in Blake Pajamas. <laughs> and they put us in this queue heading towards the food tent, right? Guess what they gave us? A cheeseburger and a Pepsi. Right? <laughs> World's first Happy Meal. And I'm like, fuck, right? <laughs> And you said it was hot dogs, and we thought you were fucking really hot dogs, right? <laughs> so I got mine, I'm standing there, and I said to the dude, I said, mate, this is disgusting. And the guy goes, what's wrong with it? I said, well, in my country, we don't eat this bit of the dog, eh? Hey? <laughs> So we came here, we, we were the very first Vietnamese boat people in this country, right? And so the government didn't know what to do with us, right? So the, the immigration department decided to help us out, you know, decided to give us an interpreter, you know, a translator to help us get our bank books and get our life together and shit. You know how close it came to an English-speaking Vietnamese guy in Australia in 1975? They gave us a guy from Malta. <laughs> yeah, no shit, but they thought, oh yeah, Malta, Vietnamese, fuck the close enough. <laughs> And we didn't know what to eat when we came to this country. You know, in 1975, in Australia, there's no such thing as Chinese grocery <laughs> shops, right? So me and my mum lived in a supermarket, okay? And we'd never been in a supermarket before. My mum came back from the supermarket the first day with a box of cornflakes. Right? So the whole family, man, we sat around the dinner table going, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, trying to work it out, you know? We, just, you know, we couldn't read it because, you know, it wasn't any Maltese. <laughs> It's not a fucking chicken on it. Cornflakes <laughs> got a fucking chicken on it, right? <laughs> and so my mum works it out. She's very smart, my mum. She works it out. She goes, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it, okay. I get a piece of bread. I uh, put some margarine on it. <laughs> I put some cornflake on it, some soy sauce, <laughs> and send us up to school. Ah, fuck! Ah. Mate, the wogs are laughing at us. <laughs> my dad, my dad, had cornflake sandwiches. 
for 15 years. <laughs> we had no idea. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have a heart attack. So after 15 years, I told him, I sat him down and said, Dad, you said, we call him right? You have to put it in a box <laughs> and put Fanta in it and shit. <laughs> So you know what we have to eat? We pay them food. And you know, I don't mind you pay them food, you know, your pizzas and your pasta and you know. But it's one thing where you pay them food that Asian people don't understand. And that's risotto. You know this shit? What is that much? You know what my mom reckons? My mom reckons? Risotto is Italian for who fuck up the rats? <laughs> you know, 